Well, they did it again. It seemed like we had them there for a while, and it was a good game to watch for the most part. But somehow that Saban magic came through in the end. Heartbreaker. But if we can take anything away, it's that we played hard, we competed with the best in the game, and who knows, maybe we'll get them. Someday. Welcome back to the Jerry Tanner Show, brought to you by the UGA Alumni Association. Yes, welcome back to the grim festival that is Georgia fandom, where Georgia goes out and loses the biggest game of the regular season, and the next day the Braves lose Game 7 and miss the World Series. Oh, it's not what anyone wanted, but the silver lining is that if we continue to play at a high level, we are likely to get another shot at Bama in the SEC Championship. So now is the time to reflect, to learn, to patch the hole you made in your drywall, and to come back stronger. We turn now to week five, which takes the Bulldogs to Lexington, Kentucky, and the kids' table of Kentucky Athletics, Kroger Field. In his eighth season as the Wildcats head coach, the youngest of the Stoops brothers, Mark Baby Boy Stoops, is the most successful Kentucky head football coach since a man named Blanton Collier, who was named SEC Coach of the Year in 1954. So yes, Kentucky is not a land of football dominance. In fact, they are particularly bad against the Dogs, against whom they have a .178 all-time win percentage. They're second worst among SEC opponents. You can guess who's first. But we mustn't take this game for granted, nor brush it aside. Not only is Kentucky better than you may think, but history is on the line for the Dogs. We currently hold a 10-game win streak over the Cats. This ties the record for longest win streak in the series, which means if we win on Saturday, then Kirby Smart will claim a Vince Dooley record that began in 1978 when Coach Smart was but three years old. Have you ever been to a UGA Black Alumni Homecoming tailgate? Easily, one of the best on campus, let me tell you. Now, obviously, they've had to change some things up this year, but you can still join in with the UGA Black Alumni Homecoming Tailgate box. Inside, you'll find a whole host of goodies, including a special Black Alumni t-shirt, and a portion of your purchase will go to the Black Alumni Scholarship Fund. Go to alumni.uga.edu slash football to find out more and order yours today. Let's jump back in. In the first two games, both losses, Kentucky allowed 324 yards to Auburn and 459 yards to Ole Miss. They also gave up three fumbles and an interception. Not good. In their next two, however, they allowed two points to Mississippi State and seven to Tennessee. Following these victories, they were ranked in the top 20 in both scoring and rushing defense. Now, yes, these numbers are inflated a little bit by the MSU game when Mike Leach's offense had its regularly scheduled implosion, but they still allowed fewer points to Tennessee than we did. Now, what they are about to run into is a rested and furious Kirby Smart Georgia team. Kentucky's offensive strength is in the run game, where they again rank in the nation's top 20. And oh, guess what? Isn't that convenient? Georgia is one of the best in the country at stopping the run. The Cats also thrive off of turnovers. But I would imagine after a three interception game against Bama, Kirby Smart likely spent the week promising truly unspeakable things to the first man to drop the ball. Basically, what I'm saying is this. Put your affairs in order, Wildcats. I am sorry for what is about to happen. 45-10 dogs. Yes, I believe we will feast in Lexington, which will only serve as an appetizer for Jacksonville, where Dan Lanning and the defense will find no shortage of gator tail. Then they'll stomp through Missouri and Mississippi State before enacting righteous vengeance on the Gamecocks. As you can see, I've moved beyond the misery and soul searching that would so often accompany painful Georgia losses of the past. Perhaps the repeated kneecapping of my ill-placed hopes and dreams by the same unstoppable villain has broken me and turned me into a hollow creature on a desperate hunt to satisfy my need for vengeance and devastation. But I think I'm just a happier person now. Y'all be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and you'll never miss an episode.